Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we're getting it all in Fatum Batula, which means Fate Birch, but if you kind of mishear it, uh, kind of sounds like a fat beach, um, <laughs> but you think whatever you want. Now this was developed by Bryce Butcher, uh, published by Baltoro Games and it's usually available for a lovely small 4 99 so what can I say about this game? It's weirdly good. The PS1 style graphics actually really complement the game and backdrop. And I've got no idea what's going on. All we know is it's a great little atmospheric exploration game and we have to feed a big vag monster. Yes, you'll soon see. Uh, now achievements very easy. The majority are basically tied for getting all of the 10 endings. Plus a few miscellaneous ones and two RNG random generated ones, but we can manipulate this with saves, so do not panic your buttocks off. All in all, with getting all endings, it usually has a two minute or so cutscene, which I've cut out of the video, uh, but you can't skip it. So this game's going to take around 40 to 45 minutes. So get prepared for a lovely trip down memory lane, at least graphics wise. And so with that being said then, let us begin. Now, you've just seen when I went into the options, because this game has a lot of flashing images, it does have a sort of um, epileptic um, thing, a box that you can tick. Uh, so it reduces the flash and everything, and good to go. But as we begin, you can press the left trigger to start, uh, or to run, sorry, to start. Press the left trigger or the left bumper to run. And all we've got to do is just keep waiting here, just in the dark, until you see the biggest vagina coming towards you. Now you're probably going to be scared and think, what the hell are you going to do to me? Oh, what the hell are you going to do to me? Oh my god. So you can either enjoy the death by Snoo Snoo, or, you know, kind of get scared slash horny, scorny at the same time. So when the Vag Monster appears, press the right trigger to open up the dialogue, and then keep spamming the right trigger there. And he's going to get us three test tubes. What do you want me to stick in those test tubes? <laughs> well, we'll see later on. So for the first sort of five minutes or so, uh, five sort of ten minutes or so as we begin, press the right trigger here when you're at the door to actually get out. Uh, we're going to be gathering some items. So immediately turn to the left as we go out. You can just see this little path and a little blackened dark way. <laughs> this time we're going up the back passage. That's a pretty big one. Uh, go to the left here and go towards the well. There's going to be a jar. If you just walk into it, a little flash will happen and we immediately pick that up. So again, remember to keep pressing the left trigger and holding the left trigger to run as we go back out into the main area. And then from here, just go straight and you're going to see a little bridge. Go over the bridge and straight into the other back passage. God damn, that's a lot of back passages in here. Right, what we're going to do, if you press the Y button, you can actually save the game. Um, uh, the X button opens up the inventory or the start button in opens up the inventory as well But at the top there you can save it and if you press the blue button it goes to load as well uh, But that's the Y button if you want to get there But first of all before doing anything immediately head to the left Walk into the machete to grab it and then just spam the right trigger In order to uh, get out of this bit and then we're going to climb the stairs <laughs> Nobody told me there were stairs to climb damn it too fat Too fat for this shit Anyway, we're just going to go straight across. Um, if you obviously go press the X button here to go into your inventory, press the up and down arrow, and then the A button to click on it, and then press the B button to back out. Uh, the controls can take a little bit of getting used to, but uh, we'll head left here, and there's going to be a, a little boat. Now, what we have to do is cut the rope on the boat by pressing the A button. Now, I actually walked into it and drowned, but I reloaded right by the house anyway, and the boat will automatically be going along anyway. So, it doesn't matter if you drown, or you press the A button to slice it. But going into the house, go over to this picture frame here at the back, open up your inventory and grab the jar. Again, press the A button and then the B button to back out so it's highlighted. Then press the A button at it in order to throw it, and then just walk into it to pick it up. So, when that's done, what we're going to do is walk across the lily pads again. And then from here, what we're going to do is go left. There we go. And then uh, basically what we're going to do now is go over to the boat. So where we cut the boat earlier, the boat should now have a fishing rod in it. So go over and check our little big rod. Our little big rod. There it is. Walk into it to pick it up automatically. And then we can just keep going straight. So straight from the boat where we just picked it up. What we're going to be doing is catching two fish in this lake, and the first one is kind of a rare one. It's got orange spots, and it should be in this section, sort of in this back corner right here. Hard to tell from here, of course, the PS1 style graphics, but what you need to do, again, press the start or X button to go into your inventory. 
and then press up or down, whichever way you want to go. Click on the fishing rod, press B to back out. Now just press the A button, but do it in front of the fish, and then as soon as you see the line nibble just a little bit, press the A button again. So you can move with it in order to get its attention, but as soon as you see it nibble, nibble, nibble on the nipple, press the A button there, picks it up, job done. So thankfully, that is a very easy fishing game, but we're just going to keep going straight for the moment. What we're going to do is actually head around back to the house now. So again, a couple of items that we need to be grabbing. So back over the old lily period pads, pods, pids, uh, towards the house. Go to the left. And all we're going to be doing is catching this fish directly right here. So again, press the A button to just stick it in front of the fish's face. Move if you wanted it to get its attention. And then as soon as you see the little uh, yum, 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 the old nibble, nibble, press the A button. That catches that fish. Right. Go into the house and now interact with the bed again by pressing the right trigger button. Yes, not the A button. You're not trying to catch a bed. You've got to press the right trigger button. And that gets us into this dream sequence. So this is kind of the um, acid uh, sequence of events. So if we go to the right here, what we need to do is get the jar with a picture in it from our inventory. And we need to give it to whatever the hell this is supposed to be. Oh, it's just Manny from Grim Fandango. Uh, so press the A button to throw it at it and then talk to it again by pressing the right trigger. That's how we're going to get the story progression to start. So half a body for Manny from Grim Fandango who's just chilling with a big... Erection finger. As soon as you speak to him after giving him the picture, he gives us a little something we can pick up. So, uh, click on the vial in your inventory. Make sure, of course, that it's lit up. Now, just press the A button onto this sort of liquid stuff. Liquid, whatever that is. And we will keep that. Now, we're going to go back over to the lily pads once again. And we're going to start heading down the old stepperoonies this time. Uh, what we're actually going to be doing is catching a third fish. Now, there's only a couple of things that we can grab while we're specifically in the dream zone. So, make sure to be grabbing these just to the right here. Uh, we need to now get our fishing rod out again. So, make sure that that is highlighted. Press the A button and then there's no fish. But as soon as you see the old num num nibble, press the A button again to lap it up and stick it somewhere where you can't see. There we go. So, that should be three fish that we've got now. Um, yeah, we're basically going to butcher this whole cat to death many a times in a minute. But for now, we're heading back up the steps. And we are going to use... Uh, what we're going to do is go into our inventory here, use the machete. No, in fact, no, sorry, we're not even using the machete yet. Um, what we're going to do is head to the left here. Sorry, getting a bit ahead of myself. Now, what should happen every time as we start walking up here, you should start seeing like little flashes of yellow. There it is. You may see it a lot more frequent than I do, but either way, it should still be roughly around here. As soon as you walk up to it, there it is. Um, you can press right trigger to talk to it if you want, but um, his existence is impossible. Yes, because you are a cube of nothing. <laughs> that was obvious, bruh. Anyway, you will get the My Existence is Impossible achievement. Now we can head back and start heading towards the well here at the, basically the back of the um, map. Oh, map. It's, just, it's a tombstone. Uh, but we need to get our machete. And what we need to do is press the A button here on the rope. You might have to go closer. Even closer. Oh, in fact, no, we don't even have to do it. We can just walk into it. Press the right trigger to speak to this weird floaty rhino hand with an eyeball. Okay. Don't know what to make of that, but that is creeping me out. So, go ahead. Walk into the apple there to pick it up. Yes, that is an apple. Uh, it doesn't. It's not a wine glass. And now we're going to head back towards <laughs> the house again. I'd love to know what um, the devs were on when they were thinking of these characters to make up. Because I want some too. So from here we're going to go back towards the house then. Across the lily pads once more. And then just turn it around town. And around. Up the ramp. Press the right trigger on the bed, and we're going to get out of this dreamlike sequence. Remember, you should have caught that third fish, and got the My Existence is Impossible achievement for interacting with the cube. But when that bit's done, we can now get out of here. We are done with this area. We never have to come back. Nice. So head all the way down, all the way down, and back through the back sack, and crack. Okay, back over the bridge. And then what we're going to do is turn right up here, up at this grassy knoll. And we're going to see this cat. Now, this is important. This is where we're going to make a save. So, press the Y button. 
Um, make a save on the second one, and we're going to kill this poor cat a good couple of times. The first thing that we're going to do is uh, we are going to give him the green fish. So the green fish, kind of greenish, the one that we got from the dream world. Press the A button to pick it up, and then press the A button again to throw it at him. And then that will get us one achievement called Recursive Vision. What has you done? And then he just sort of knobs off, apparently. And then just press the right trigger <laughs> right when you buy him. And now we're like, oh my god. But what we're going to do now, press the Y button, go click the blue button to go to load, and reload that second save again. And we're going to be right back where we are with the cat. So, let's get, well, let's butcher some cats, huh? Right, first thing we're going to do is grab the machete, press the B button to get back out, and press the A button to slice him dead. That's first death. Now, we need to go into our inventory, grab the second vial. Again, press the B button to back out. And then press the A button when you're on the cat. Make sure that you've got the blood actually in the vial before moving on, because this will be the first ending. So, go down the hill, up to the right here, and you can see a set of doors. Press the right trigger on these double doors. And if we just head right back up, it now puts us into this area. Interact with the water by pressing the A button, and that is the first ending done out of ten. So that is what for the majority of achievements are. Basically getting different liquids and putting them in this water. Job done. Now, like I said, after every ending, of which there are 11, if you include the secret dev one, there will always be um, a cutscene with, honestly, I've got no idea what's going on. But again, there's nothing you can do. You just have to uh, sit through it. Uh, you can't skip it, you've just got to sit through it until we get to the very uh, end and we start seeing the credits roll. Um, so what I've obviously done, like I said in the intro, what I've done for each cutscene, just to save a little bit of time in the video, I've actually cut the cutscene out. I'll show you when the achievement unlocks and then I'll cut the cutscene out totally. But when it's all done and you see the credits, what you can actually do is press the B button to back out to the main menu and then what... And then what you can do is press the A button to go back into the main menu. And then we can start the game again. But of course, we've got our saves and loads. So it's all good. So remember, when you're at the credits, you can't skip the cutscene originally. When you're at the credits, press the B button. Press the A button twice just to skip through this cutscene. And then um, choose the start option again. But of course, we're not going from the beginning. What we're going to do is press the Y button. Make sure it says load at the top. And then go back into your hub world. Which, once again, we should be outside Little Death Puddy Cat. What we're going to do is head down first and to the left. We're going to go straight through the double doors this time. And we're going to pick our liquid bone up, which we got from the Dream World. And we're going to go straight up. Press the A button on the water. And that is the second ending completo. So again, another easy one. They're all very easy, don't get me wrong, but of course, in each area, there's just a few things that we've got to do first, and blah de blah de blah So anyway, we're all boners, apparently. So, whether you're a girl or a boy, everybody got a boner. Heh <laughs> bonerific. Uh, now a skeleton. Well, my gut tells me otherwise. So, when we skip the cutscenes and we uh, all that jazz, we're going to come back to the beginning right here. And then we can press the Y button again. Make sure, of course, it says load at the top. And then go into your hub world. Now, you can't actually overwrite the save, by the way. You actually have to delete it first and then overwrite the save. So don't panic if you got if you think and you might accidentally do that. Uh, what we can do, get the machete out. Kill this poor piece of cat crap again. Robotic as hell, as it were. Get the vial. And then, again, press the A button next to it to get the blood. Put it in the water right next to him. And then what we're going to do is use the, get the liquid bone that we've got out, put that in the water as well, and then press the A button again to get this uh, lovely LGBTQ plus IRA uh, GO uh, whatever stuff. And then press the right trigger again at the double doors. <laughs> um, and then we're going to go up, and we're going to get the third ending right here. Um, obviously, I'm joking. It's just there's so many... Letters and everything on the LGBTQ stuff. I've lost all count. So don't get offended. Please don't get offended uh, Love me So that'll be the feed it achievement So that is now uh, Three out of ten slash eleven if you, again if you don't count the dev endings Right 
15 minutes into the video. You probably a little bit more. Go to load again. We're going to go back into our hub world. And man, this poor cat's having a pretty bad day. Uh, what we're going to do, go into our inventory again. Again, pressing the X or start button. We're going to feed him the poisoned apples. That's what that is. So again, just press the A button when you're next to him. And eventually he's going to go, Oh, my genitals are about to explode with poison. I, I suppose that's what a, a poisonous apple does. Does it work through to your genitalia first and gets to your head after? I don't know. Anyway, when that happens, make sure that you uh, get out a vial, press the A button next to him to get the poison. And now we can go back through the double doors directly opposite. And we'll be doing the exact same thing. So straight up and then just press the A button next to the water to get the next achievement done and the next cutscene. Uh, it, it may take a few seconds here to unlock, but it will get there un uh, eventually. Unlock Dunlop. Michael Dunlop, 20 Isle of Man TT wins. Well done, lad. Um, anyway, so that's nothing, apparently. <laughs> like my life and my head, nothing. So we're going to go back into a new game after the cutscene and the credits. Back to a new game, press the Y button, press load, go into your hub world. Okay, yeah right. So what we're going to do now is, are we going to butcher the cat once more? <laughs> you bet your sweet ass we are. Press the X button, feed him the normal fish, not the one with orange spots or the other green fish. Feed him this fish. We're not going to butcher him, we're going to be nice to him. Who's a good little robot pretty cat? And then speak to him anyway when he is done chowing down. Uh, again, smash the dialogue with the right trigger. And then a little jar or a little pot's going to appear here. Now, we're going to get the second vial. Pop that in with the A button. And we've got what is supposed to be oil. But that looks suspiciously like... Uh, actually, no. America, <laughs> the American Army will tell me. They're probably... If anyone's from the American Army now, they are probably trying to get through the screen trying to get the oil. Right, back up here. Another ending done. Again, if you're from the American Army, it's not real oil, so don't try and, you know, invade your TV screen or anything, okay? Okay, thanks! So, <laughs> this is the next ending then, called Parasites. P -p 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 Parasites. The world is dying. Oh, well, and that's what happens when you try getting all the oil in the world, and then I've got to pay almost two litres for goddamn diesel! Sorry, <clears throat> sorry, I'm getting all political and such. So, back into the main hub world, we're going to load up our second save, of course, again, as we have been doing. And, well, yes, let us go for the cat again. What we're going to do is get out the orange fish this time, the very rare, mouldy, spotted orange fish. And we're going to head down, and we're going to go to the right back, through past the old back sack and crack. And into this area with the well. But we're going to go right this time. And we're going to go into the house. Again, press the right trigger to go into places. And then it's very dark in here. But what we need to do is just head down the stairs. And we just need to press the A button to feed it to the skeleton. And then eventually, that meal, that fish is going to be so good. His absolute nut of butters and his head is going to fall completely off. Ah, she blows. Right, walk into it there to pick it up. The reason we've got, we got the fish first is because it's very dark, can be hard to see. But we're going to get back out of here. Not done just yet. What we're going to do is head to, to the left towards the well. And there's a little ramp we can now go up. So up we go, down we go. Leaky dicky lick my toe. Right, uh, dude smoking a fat bong right here. What we're going to do is feed him the skull. Pretty dark to see, but pretty obvious which one it is. So make sure to uh, press the A button to feed him the skull. And he is going to bong up hard, bro. Press the right trigger next to him again, just to smash all the dialogue. He is going to give us another pot of deliciousness. Um, oh my god. What are you smoking with? You don't have a mouth. Anyway. Um, again, sometimes very easy to misjudge the buttons. But get a vial out. Press the A button next to it. Turn around. Go out of the door. And that is going to bring us back to the main area. So we can just head up. Press the A button. And this spooky weed style related stuff will be done. And that is yet another ending. Hi, <sighs> Mama. Oh, it's 32 year old body of mine's failing. Right, forever. Nobody dies. Which, that would actually suck because there's a lot of bad people in this, in this world. 
Because apparently, if you, um, you know, if you're nasty towards kids, you want to get five years. But if you stream football matches illegally, you get 17 years and a million pound fine. Pfft, disgusting. Anyway, load up the second save again when we are back to the main area. And, <laughs> nope, back into your inventory I'm trying to go. Slap the machete and stick it square in the cat's nugget. Boom! He, he goes down like a metal piece of lead, by the way. I'm not sure why. Uh, make sure to get out of vial. Press the A button next to the cat to get the beast blood. The cat blood, or whatever it is. Uh, but just make sure you like it. When we, what we're going to do is turn around, and we're going to go up this little ramp here, and then through the bushes. So where the cat was, just turn to the right, up the ramp, and then through the bushes. Now what we're going to do, do not get on the submarine just yet. Make sure to make a manual save. So uh, choose the third one, that is fine, but we are going to have to make a manual save because we are coming up to the first randomly generated achievement. So what we're going to do, when we get down here, after we save, we interact with the submarine, in here, there is a key, but there should also be something pretty obvious that you should find, and it's kind of like a big moon, sun, big yellow thing, you literally cannot miss it. Um... So if that doesn't happen, just reload your last save, the island save, go back in through the submarine, and then just go back to it. Just keep trying it and keep reloading until you see this thing. Walk up to it. Uh, again, you can press the right trigger next to it if you want, but that will get you the Ezekiel event achievement. Then we can walk into the key into the back left and just start heading back towards the submarine now that did actually take me about six or seven tries so it will turn up eventually just keep going and it should turn up quite quickly again i think it totally took me about a minute and a half to do so with that one what we can do is just head towards the gazebo and we're going to head back into the sort of main hub area here we are then what we're going to do is head down and sort of to the right again to go back through the old back and sack and kraken the Kraken Academy. Um, from here, we're going to go to the right. And you're just going to see like a little stick uh, just popping out of the ground right here. So what we need to do is actually feed this the liquid boner. <laughs> Bonerific. And then feed him the beast blood or feed it the beast blood as well. That's going to grow. And then, again, if you want to, you can put your vial away. But what we're going to do is just start climbing it very much Jack and the Beanstalkish. And that's why Jack got arrested. Stop stalking the beans. Anyway, up here, we're just going to go around the water. I don't even know what I'm on about anymore. Uh, around the water, we're going to drop off the cliff's edge right here. Scablamo! Broke my leg. Never mind. And we're going to see an opening on the right up here. Right. Yeah. And with that, what we're going to see is a church. Now, this is another random, randomly generated event. So, we're going to make another save. So, you can delete the island save if you so wish. Um, or you can just put it into the fourth one. Just, just, do, just delete the island save and then make a save. Make sure that it is save beat again before heading in. Otherwise, we can just choose the key that we just found underneath the submarine. Press the A button and then the B button to click out. Press the A button to throw it at it and walk in again with the right trigger. Now, what we're going to do is get one of the vials out. We're going to use it. Just press the A, bu the A button against one of the wine barrels. Now, it can be kind of hard to tell sometimes. Just make sure that you've got some wine in your little vial. Head back out. And we just basically need to go all the way back to the starting area now. So, you can do that. Just walk down and then we can just get to the other side. That saves a lot of time. Turn around. Head out through the old back passage. <laughs> Once again, go up. Turn to the right here. And we're going to go back through the double doors. And that is that ending complete. We're going to run up the steps. Man, I'm tired of running up steps. Press the A button, and the big Vag Monster Heart thing will be dripping with wine. And it is going to be... Holy crap, it's drunk. Um, but again, same thing as normal. Couple of minute cutscene you cannot get through, uh, but we do get the faith achievement as well. Believe in party, eh? Now, I'm sure there was a group that sang something about uh, believing for your fighting for your right to party. Oh, the Beastie Boys, that's right. So, you've got to fight for your right to get another ending in this game. So, we're going to go back into the main game after you got through all the credits, of course. Press load, and we're going to go back to the Autumn World. So, that should be a third save right there. Now, what we're going to do is, again, we're going to open up the door. So, whip out the key, not the poisoned apple. Press the A button next to it, and then press the right trigger to get your ass in. Now, what we're going to do is turn immediately around... 
and we're going to make another save here. So when we're inside, delete the third save slot and then make sure to press the save so it says Autumn Church. Again, this is just very important because this is the random generated bit. So we're going to head back outside, turn around and this should be, uh, if you keep going around the house, this should be this moon. Uh, again, it's a random generated one. Press the right trigger to go onto it, by the way. But if that moon is not there, reload your save and just keep going. Luckily for me, it was there first time. Uh, but again, just keep reloading your save if it's not there. And then we're going to get into this moon section. So when we walk forward, interact with this moon again by pressing the old right and trigger in. It's going to open up the ceiling above us. Which again, is not creepy or anything at all. Uh, not like alien or predators about or anything. Ooh. Keep walking forward. There's nowhere else to go except straight up. Ah! Oh. And eventually, we're going to see yet another giant creature head monster thing. Luckily, no snoo snoo death for this this time. Although, no, I wouldn't mind. Talk to it anyway by pressing the right trigger and just skip, skip, skip through all the dialogue. No time for snoo snoo. I've got achievements to unlock. Sorry. And what we can do is turn around and this little waterfall thing right here, make sure to get a vial out. Press the A button when you're next to it, make sure that your vial is full. And start heading towards down the stairs again. Hey, doesn't matter, head snoo snoo. Right, press the right trigger here on the double doors again to get back to the main area. And walk in up, up, up. Absolutely knackered, but press the A button. And that is going to be yet another ending and yet another achievement. So... Starting to fly it now, um, we're about 26 minutes into the video, which means you should roughly be about 35 minutes, maybe 40 minutes in by now. Um, but that is the, where do we go from here, achievement done. And again, just go through the same thing. Skip the, well, you can't skip the cutscene. Press the B button when you're on the credits, press the A button a couple of times, and go back into the game. So, what we're going to do once more, press the Y button. Uh, load, and this time we're going to load the hub world, so the second save. Make sure we're going to load up into that. Now we should be back into the area with old kitty cat. Now what we're going to do, go into our inventory. We're going to grab the green normal fish again. So the greenish normal fish, uh, which he will be very grateful for. So again, when he's done chowing like a chunky monkey. Ooh. Ooh. Nice nose. Uh, speak to him again anyway. And you needed the energy. Your eyes don't look like you need extra energy, mate. Uh, get a vial out again, of course. Use it with the weird-looking oil. Next, we're going to go back up the ramp and then through the bushes to get into the submarine area. And then what we're going to do, instead of going straight forward, we're going to go to the water, press the A button, and make it all oily. So, you know, you're all lubed up to be eaten by fish and sharks and stuff. Anyway, interact with the submarine. We're going to head back underneath. Um, this time we're not going to go into the old abandoned death church. We're going to go keep going straight. Straighter than a straight thing and a straight pole straight jacket. And just head down into this chasm before your very death. In fact, it's not actually death. We're coming into a new area. Oh, this looks creepily fun. So we're going to make another save here. You should have one empty slot. So make sure that we have made the save. Go into any of the houses. I just picked the first right one just because. Any of the houses are exactly the same, though, so no panic. Up the stairs, we're going to turn right. And we're just going to keep running, running, running. This definitely looks like the Ned Flanders house when every, all of the Simpsons and everyone rebuilds a house. Goddamn dilly ding dong crap, can't you morons do anything right? And anyway, from here, go down the stairs, and <laughs> we are going to see this thing. And all he wanted to do was watch TV, and we're going to slice him up a new one. So, machete out, slice him with the A button. Sorry, pal. I don't know why we've done that. Get out a vial, press the A button to get some whatever that is. Up the stairs, to the left, through the double doors. And, again, no idea what that bloody hell that is. But still, hey, there we go. Donkey, can't even walk in a straight line. <laughs> hey. Right, there we go. Interact with the water as we've been doing throughout the game. That is yet another ending. And we've only got a... Uh, we've only got three, about two minutes left actually, about two and a half minutes left now of the video. Um, so again, you should roughly have about six or seven minutes left of gameplay, thanks to these lovely unskippable cutscenes. But that is the next achievement done. Cycle! 
And you know the drill by now. Back into the game. Back into the game. Bum. Psh, ba bum bum. Ba 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 bum. Right, Y button. We're going to load and we're going to go load back into the suburbia, which was the very last save slot. This time, though, we're just going to keep going straight. So don't go in any of the houses. You're going to be heading straight for literally about 30 to 40 seconds or so. Um, so if you're bored, what you can do is um, maybe you can entertain yourself by doing a little, uh, 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 little jog inside his side. Hey, maybe a little twirly twirl. Showing you my dance moves. Ready for the big primer saddle. Uh, have a look up. Uh, have a look down. That was down and up, by the way. Apparently, I'm <laughs> that stupid. Uh, but just keep walking straight anyway. All these houses look the same. Uh, we're not going into a house. What we're doing, this is going to be like a big spaceship or something flying directly high in the sky right in front of us with some steps so what we're going to need to do is enter the back passage again uh, hold your nose it might be a bit smelly on the way in <laughs> no it doesn't and what we're going to do is head to the right and interact with this sort of shelter that thing just dies which actually crapped my pants just then uh, what we're going to do is get out another file have a look at the tomato soup right next to the computer and that is all we need that is what the big vag uh, wants, apparently. It wants soup. Which, personally, I've never uh, put soup in absolutely anyone or anything. But there we go. Into the house we go. Head up. And obviously go to the left this time to go back through the doors. And then straight up. And give the soup. Put the soup in the vag. Um, well, the heart. I bet that was something you probably didn't expect to hear on a playthrough. Walk through, but of course, if you've watched my videos, you're probably used to that by now. Um, now, funnily enough, the achievement, I don't know if they've done this on purpose, but you've got new achievement name and new achievement description. So I don't know if that's just part of the ending, or if they just forgot to actually add a, an achievement name and description. Either way, <laughs> that was pretty funny. So, now we are, in fact, we're... Coming up now, that's it. We are coming up to the end. So, load up your hub world save once again. Make sure to load up your hub world save. We are coming up to the end now. we got one more to do. Now, go towards the cat. And there is a little bit of a ramp that we can go up just behind the ramp. It can be a bit tricky sometimes, though. So, what you need to do is just sort of get into the middle of the rocks. And then sort of try and go to the left, if you can. And then eventually, you're going to see this little hole, slash little chasm, slash whatever the hell that is. And just walk straight forward until we have a little chat with Mr. Developer, Mr. Bryce. Here he is, looking all... Hello? G great face, bro. I mean, you might as well. If, if you've made a game, you might as well stick your face in it somewhere. Huh. Make sure to get the vial out. And then use it on Bryce. I assume that's Bryce, by the way, the developer who made the game. Um, make sure you've got Bryce in your vial and speak to the guy uh, behind him. He's going to tell us to get the hell out. So, well, <laughs> hey, you don't have to tell me twice, but I'm already creeped out. Ugh, mouths and stuff. So, that is, um, well, <laughs> that, that's the end of the game, guys and gals. All right, hey. Now, this is a very long cutscene, which you can have a look at if you want. It's a very special treat, actually. Great Easter egg there. But that is the end of the game, and that is the end of the achievements. You should now have 14 out of 14, so thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. If you enjoyed the game, and if the guide helped as well, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Uh, big shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And that'll be that. So, big love, baby boys and girls. I'll see you in the next one.